Buzz's Retirement Garage, Ramblings of a Retired Lunatic, Episode 6. What do we want to talk about today? Well, I'm just puttering around the yard. So, in retirement, what do we do? We putter around the yard. Yeah, my wife said, hey, it's a nice day out. It stopped raining, so why don't you take a trip outside? Don't come back till dinner. No, she didn't say that, but... But it's so nice, it's so nice. First summer off, like I said, first summer off in 47 years. Um, and man, this is, <laughs> I'm enjoying every second of it. Let me tell you something. Just to be able to go out, work in the garden, and even pull weeds, which every video I'm pulling weeds, they're talking about pulling weeds, but it's true. And you can pull as many weeds as you want or none at all. Uh, today I was, uh, uh, air conditioning guys over next door um, so let him pull in the driveway and he's working on that I'll give you I'll show you that so today I just wanted to show you one of the things I did buy um, I don't use I really try not to use chemicals anymore in the lawn or the uh, I have a gravel driveway partly um, and it tends to pick up a lot of weeds and stuff so I bought this this is from uh, Home Depot and it's 30% vinegar, so I tried that this time with a little bit of salt and dishwasher liquid. Um, I'm going to see if that works because I'm wrestling right now with uh, poison ivy um, out. There's a lot of poison ivy popping up around here. So I got the weeds in the driveway. I got poison ivy here and there. And I am so allergic to poison ivy. It's, it's not good. And I don't want to get it. I had to take steroids one year because it was so bad. So I really try to get away from it, but of course when you're walking around in shorts and your short sleeves and um, geez, for me all I got to do is brush against it or if I take the weed whacker they say that that could put it in the air and that could cause you to get the rash too. I don't know, but I'm trying my best to avoid that. Well, let's take a look around. Let's see what's going on. So here's the garden. It needs to get weeded. But uh, I got put some more tomato plants. That's some tangerines that I feed to the Baltimore Orioles, and I just throw them in the garden. It's kind of compost. So I got to get that going. Um, you see my feeder over here. This is my, my uh, Baltimore Oriole feeder. And you can see the guy over there. Let's see how close we can get to him before he, yeah, he took off. But I'm weeding in this area. These trees, like this one right here, I think it's a shagbar kickery. That uh, that was planted by the birds. A lot of things that are here are planted by the birds. Let's see what else we got. Eh, still got some nuts left. This camera, I try to set this up to watch. It's one of them Harbor Freight Bunker Hill security cameras. It actually works, but the whole thing's jacked up, so I got to... I gotta work on this, but normally what I do see is the raccoon sticking his face in there. And uh, it's another feeder here. More weeds. And the mulberry tree. So the mulberry tree, this one here, was planted by the birds as well. But yeah, they're coming out. They're looking good. Yeah, not bad, huh? Hmm, tastes pretty good. So we're working on that. Got the fence posts that uh, I'm going to build a little fence type thing for near my air conditioner. Oh, where's his air conditioner? So he's getting a new one put in. His was original from the old people that were living here before him. 1980 something, so he got a lot of years out of it. But it looks like they're putting in a pane. Maybe I should finish it up for them. Nah, it'll probably avoid the warranty if I did it. So, we're continuing to work on our weeds and continuing to work on... i got to cut the lawn and i got some flowers coming up. Some type of flowers. I do have a plant app that I do use, but... Um, there's so many different things. Like I said, I'm fighting the poison ivy. I should show you that. This is another tree here. This cherry 
cherry something tree came up right through this bush this mugo pine I think it is and uh, the birds planted that too so we let that go there's my cowboy grill so I got all this stuff that I and I'll, I'll, all these sticks so I'll burn this and then uh, once I get a nice bed of coals with that wood I'll put that grill cover on or the top of the thing and we'll cook some burgers on that so anyway, one of the things I wanted to tell you was, uh, if you didn't see one of my videos on Social Security, which some of the people, I was a long video, I understand, but some people didn't uh, stay till the end, which I can understand. Um, I did say at the end of that video that I'm going to be doing some giveaways. Um, I've decided to do a $25 gift card. Now from January when I well December but when I got monetized in January my income has been pretty static it's been uh like what I got in May was the same thing I got in January when I only had 2,000 subscribers so now I'm up to 10,000 plus and my revenue is the same so it and and part of that is because 86% of the people that watch the videos, according to the analytics, 86% don't subscribe. So they don't get to see the updates all the time, and it's just happenstance that they see it uh, come up on their feed uh, when one of my videos comes out. So I'm going to be doing giveaways to entice maybe people to stick around. If they don't like me enough, maybe they'll like 25 bucks. <laughs> hey! If you can't beat them, join them, right? Um, no, I'm just, just kind of kidding there. But uh, seriously, I'm going to go ahead and start a uh, gift card. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to start a gift card giveaway. I'm going to do $25 for sure a month, maybe $50. I might do two twenty-fives. dollars um, So it'll happen during a video. I have not purchased them yet, so it won't be on this video. But if you subscribe you can make sure you're not going to miss one of my entertaining videos and miss out on the $25. And through January, I picked up from Dan, from Martina, I think I picked up 21 almost $22 in uh, what they call Super Thanks. That's that little heart that you see there. I think it's called Super Thanks. Um, the drawback to that, and I appreciate the people that have... Uh, donated to me but the the bad part about that is YouTube actually takes a cut of that money too so if you put in five bucks they take like 40 or 45 percent so I'm not getting the full amount um, so I would just say if you do a super thanks it is going to go towards gift cards and not me so I'll, it's gonna go to me but we're gonna reinvest that back into our community our uh, 10,600 subscribers so your odds of <laughs> I guess your odds of getting one is uh, one in 10,600 or whatever but no but if you do you know probably be at the middle or towards the end of a video I'll announce that we're gonna do a giveaway and, you know, some of you millionaires out there, you might not want the $25. Let, let us, you know, some of us poor people get it. But uh, uh, we'll probably do something that way where it's in the comments where you need to say something like, I'd like the $25. Um, and if things go the way I think they'll go, at the end of the video where most of the people have already signed off, that'll reduce the amount of people that are going to be in contention for the gift card. How's that sound? And another thing was interesting is they do it by male and female. I don't know how they collect all these analytics, but anymore, your life is just not private. I'm telling you. Um, but w more women watch, or I should say the females watch longer than the males do. So I guess our male attention span is <laughs> pretty limited. So so the, there's a good chance, even though there's only 20% of women watch and 80% versus the 80% of men that watch, 
there's a good chance that a woman could win because they're, they tend to watch longer on a video. Whether they make it to the end or not, I don't know, but that's what the analytics say. So we're going to give that a shot. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to go to Sam's Club and see if I can find some gift cards. I looked at Costco, uh, I think a week or 10 days ago when I went there. And they didn't really have anything that was, uh, I was kind of disappointed. I thought they would have something good. I know Sam's Club usually does, so I'll go to Sam's tomorrow and we'll pick up some. And uh, Leanne, it won't be for tractor supply, but I don't think they have that there. But we'll figure out something. If there's something, uh, a brand or something you guys prefer, I mean, I could go to that particular store uh, and pick up some if you think, you know, if you're into the Amazon or if you're into uh, food places or whatever. Um, you know, we're just going to get this ball rolling and we're going to give back to our community, which has been growing uh, fairly nice. So I think that's important to do. Um, and we'll announce that, like I said, during one of our videos. Um, the other thing is uh, I did meet with my, if you guys have watched, subscribed and watched some of my Social Security videos, I did, uh, we've mentioned a couple times about my car insurance, my health policies, uh, insurance policies that I have with State Farm. And long story short, I changed agents. I stayed with State Farm but changed agents. And I'm now, uh, if they're closer by, they're actually within walking distance of me. And I had a lengthy conversation with my agent today. And my car insurance is averaging $50 a month. And he looked at that policy. And like I said, long story short, he looked at that policy and said he can't even get that policy. It's grandfathered because I've been with State Farm like 25 years. So some of the changes that have been made um, have really not affected me. And he says, you know, your, your insurance is unbelievably low. Uh, not many people can get it that low unless they've been with the insurance company for a long time. So, for instance, in the last two years, he was reading me off all the increases that not only State Farm has asked for, but Geico, Progressive, Erie Insurance, uh, all state, nationwide, and he and they averaged anywhere from uh, a 17 percent in one company, and I don't remember the name of it, but it was a 52 percent increase they were asking for um, through their agents. And he also said that it's getting harder and harder um, for people to get insurance. Like if you're going to buy a house, um, and they use uh, Eagle View now and Eagle View will look at your property and your roof and if they don't think that if your roof is you know 10 or 15 years old if they look and it doesn't look exactly like they want it to be they might not insure that house so he was telling me about an instance where he couldn't he thought there the guy's house who he was trying to buy was going to be denied because the roof was old so fortunately that guy went back to the seller and said, hey, I can't get insured unless it's a new roof. I don't have the money. So they reduced the price of the house or the closing costs or whatever it was by the amount so they could get that roof done and get that house sold. So the insurance industry is changing and Ross, State Farm agent in Louisiana who is a subscriber and a really good guy, has his own channel, Middle Age Grind. If you guys want to check him out, he's only in his, I think he's only in his 40s, although he looks like he's in his 30s. Um, he's a State Farm agent, and uh, he's a, one of the, State Farm is one of the only ones that have remained in Louisiana because of all the issues that they've had, according to Ross. Um, but yeah, that policy where they have the, uh, when you're retired, under 7,500 miles, well, Ohio was the test case, I guess, where they eliminated that and they give you that little gizmo that goes in your glove compartment so they could track everything. Um, yeah, I decided, no, we're not going to do that. Um, and why? Because it's not, I'm not afraid of where I'm driving or how I'm driving, but when I hit the highways, I'm not doing 60 miles an hour to post a speed limit. If I did, I'd be run off the road. 
So if they're going to hold that against me because I went over the speed limit, then no, that's not for me. Um, I'm good where I'm at on my car insurance, so 50 bucks a month, I'm good. Uh, but that is one of the reasons. He also told me, which was interesting, my life insurance policies are, are good. They're guaranteed. So as long as I keep paying for the cost of insurance, uh, it'll last until I'm dead. So I'm good there. Uh, again, I have 100000 on my wife. I have 200000 on me. And why do I have that? Because mainly because um, if she passes, you know, she's only going to get my benefit um, at 25, 23, I think it is. She's only going to get my benefit. She's not going to get her. So her Social Security will um, reduce, obviously. So that extra 200000 is going to carry her for some time, um, and that's kind of my goal. Now, will that change? Maybe, depending on the cost of insurance. But right now, the 160 that I'm paying will get me to uh, six more years at that cost. So um, as I get older, yes, it's going to go up. He can't make those projections six, seven, eight, nine years out yet because things can change. But that's where he's at right now. So my 160 a month is going to cover me for uh, another six years or so. Um, at that time, I can reduce the amount of insurance and maybe make it 150 to keep my payment. So we'll see. We'll we'll play that game as we go. Uh, my wife's. I'm only paying forty dollars for 100,000. So that's that's a pretty good deal, and that's because she's a woman and because. Uh, you know, not smoker. She's a woman. Guys tend to die earlier. Um, the old joke, I've used it before, but why do guys die earlier? Because they want to. Um, maybe it wasn't that funny, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I had a good conversation with him. I think we're, we're in pretty good shape uh, insurance-wise. Um, there are, I tell you what, he even said in Florida because of the, you know, the hurricanes and the issues that they've had, he's seeing policies down there at 10 to 12,000 a year. Um, and people are choosing not to be insured. If you have a house or condo or property paid for, you technically don't have to have uh, insurance on that home or property. Unlike if the bank owned it or cars where a lot of states require you to have car insurance, whether it's paid off, whether your car bill is paid off or not. Um, in Florida, people are going without the insurance because they just can't afford it. Uh, 10, 12 grand a year for insurance is, you know, it's kind of high. Um, so they're taking a gamble, they're rolling the dice, and hopefully everything works out for them. I don't see costs coming down, insurance costs, and I think this is going, my opinion, this is going to be an issue going forward if these costs keep increasing people are going to do without or they're going to have such bare bones policies that you know what's the sense if it really isn't going to cover anything um so yeah that's that's the next for the next five to ten years that's going to be interesting to see and for us retired folks or people who are about to retire um you know if we're getting a fixed pension or we're getting a fixed uh, social security um, we could get a double whammy with, you know, we've already got the higher food prices. We get these higher insurance costs. And if the market, you know, the market's been doing really good, but what goes up must come down. I mean, you could have a triple whammy hitting us at some point. Um, but that's life. What are you going to do? Anyway, that's enough for today. I'm just yapping, yapping my jaws, jacking my jaws here. So I uh, just wanted to say hello on this beautiful Thursday in Cleveland after a night of rain. Um, garden's growing good. Just got to get to these weeds. I might have to hire somebody to do weeds, you know. Oh, that's right. I'm on Social Security. I can't afford it. Buzz's Retirement Garage. Take care.